Forgive me for a moment. We are here at Wine Bar George having a lovely evening out on the patio. I say forgive me because the music, the live music, which is terrific, is over across the way and it is quite prominent up here. It's pretty loud. It's quite prominent. Yeah, but it's enjoyable, so that's yeah. nice. Beautiful that looks in the sunlight out here. We're gonna get a gorgeous sunset while we're here too, which is really amazing. When they asked if we wanted to sit inside or out, I've always wanted to sit on the balcony here. We've been here a few times. We've sat at the upstairs bar. We've sat over at the um, downstairs. downstairs when we did a not at here. the bar, but at a table. Yeah, and, yeah. But I've always wanted to sit up here, and so I'm excited to get up here. I'd forgotten about the band though. <laughs> so we are starting off tonight. A little cocktail hour. I got a dirty martini, a Tito's martini up. They did not have um, stuffed olives, but that's okay. We're gonna roll with it. I asked for a good and briny, and that's exactly they what got, it is. They got, they hit it's it on the mark. There you go. And it's nice and cold. So I got the old fashioned, and he, he asked me if I wanted it frozen or regular, and I had to clutch my pearls. I don't think I've ever had a frozen old fashioned, but this one looks great. Looks like a classic um, old fashioned. So uh, we'll give it a try for sure. Ooh, oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. We're gonna start off tonight with the burrata. I love their burrata. That's what I had here for brunch. It's the time that we did get to come for that. It's absolutely incredible. It's so fresh and delicious. It's the perfect way to start. And then we're gonna take it from there and see where things take us. That's right. Wow. The burrata is so creamy. But then there's this really nice dressing on the tomatoes. It gives it this really fresh, almost citrus pop. And then the toast itself is like a garlic toast. All those combinations of flavors just keep bouncing off of one another. Absolutely delicious. Everything that I remember loving about it at brunch, but all the better, because I'm getting to have it right now. <laughs> Wow, that's really good. Like you said, that burrata is super creamy. The crunch of the crostini is really nice in there. And then that fresh tomato just kind of gives it a really nice fresh pop to it. So really, really good. It's refreshing. It's very nice. And oh, it's, yeah. what I like about it, it's, I mean, it's going to be filling, obviously, if you ate the whole thing, yeah. but it's very light. It is, it is. Yeah, definitely build a bite with, with the crostini, the tomato, and the cheese, because they really play off of each other, which yeah. I think really adds to the fun of it. Yeah, you get a good combination. Yeah. Good combination in a bite, a little bit of everything. Some herbs in here. I don't know, is that basil or what is that? It's mint. Oh, it's mint. Okay, all right. All right. So one of the things about Wine Bar George is, obviously, it's a wine bar. You get a huge selection of fantastic wines. So these are the reds, these are the whites. I'm gonna stay on the red side myself. Um, and they have just quite a selection. You know, I see some names and different ones that I haven't tried in a long time. Uh, it's really great to see, but what's interesting is they have it by the ounce as well. So some really high dollar ones that, you know, if you don't wanna buy a $3,500 bottle, you can get an ounce for 150 bucks. But not that's not me, not today. So my, my palette, generally, I like reds. I like uh, Pinot Noir, I like Zinfandels. Uh, there's also a Pinot Tage from South Africa. That sounds interesting. Um, but, so I like that style. And what's nice now is I can look at it and you can see, they got a different, uh, couple different regions for the Pinot Noir. Um, so Macedonia, California, France, Oregon, and Germany. I'm kind of leaning towards the Oregon one because of the rocky soil and the, uh, moisture i tend to like those i tend to like uh zinfandels and pinots from uh from that region so uh washington oregon northern california um but uh, it's just interesting to sit here and study it and kind of see what they have yeah really cool and you can also do these really cool flights so these are going to be flights that are 
for that, you know, hey, I finally get to taste some of these wines that yeah. you don't normally ha have the ability to necessarily get your hands on um, easily. So you've got the King's Experience, which is going to be one ounce each. Um, and then you've got the First Growth Experience, which is definitely... Um, and you get to try, gosh, one, two, three, four, five different wines that are all very highly coveted and, and really a, a, quite the event to get to try. If, if I was doing that, I think I would want to be hanging out with George. And he is typically here and happy to answer your questions. The servers are fantastic, very well trained, very, very educated and versed in all of the wines that they offer here as well as the food really really nice and and they're they're approachable though it's very casual yeah you look at the lower me menu and it's like dare to dream and then you look at the upper one and they have some very approachable ones that are reasonable so like if you're having a good uh good piece of meat pair it with a nice wine if you're having uh, fish go to a white perhaps um, yeah but yeah they're very approachable it's good yeah work. really nice um, and they're, they're whites, I mean, you know, let me turn over because I did, I, we tend to favor the reds. Yeah. But in looking at the whites, you can even do a full champagne experience, which would be so much fun um, to come out and do on a special occasion, a celebration, a brunch or something like that. But a huge number of whites. Now, they still have more reds for the outstanding by the ounce section, but they have a nice variety of whites as well. They have a lot of whites in there, just typical by the glass and of course more sparkling in champagnes they even have wines on tap which is pretty interesting and i did get the menu dirty sorry about that i dropped a tomato on it maverick our server so awesome maverick, maverick tipped us in i was on the fence between the uh, oregon pinot noir and the zinfandel um he recommended since the way i ordered my steak uh he called it black and blue but um pittsburgh rare chicago style um, there's different terms for it uh, to go with the Zin. It's got a little bit more tannin, um, maybe a little bit bolder, which I always like good Zin. It'll so. hold up. You love a good red Zin. Oh, yeah. So it'll yeah. hold up nicely yeah. to what you ordered. I think that sounds good. And the way you had it prepared. And I went with the Camus Petite Syrah because I haven't had a glass of Camus in a long time. Yeah. It sounded like as soon as I saw it, I got like a little giddy inside and thought, oh yeah, baby. So I'm really excited to have that. And I decided that my meatballs and salad will just have to go with my wine. They will. <laughs> I think it'll be just fine. Kings. So when you sit up here without the music, you can see it is just, you can sit here and you're having this nice intimate space together, but you're like, you get to the breeze, the sunset, and then just enjoying the people all going by. You've got Gideon's right over here, which is obviously always a really nice view. The balloon, when it's less windy, would be going up and down, which is absolutely just a sight. Gives you kind of that good kinetic energy of the balloon going up and down, people walking by. Obviously, there's a bubble salesperson right down here. Luckily, they're not coming up here, which is nice. Um, hangar bar. Server was great. Came, gave us new plates for our, because um, we have some appetizers that we're going to share. Well, I, I ordered appetizers. I went ahead with the meatballs and the watermelon arugula salad and you went with yep. the ribeye i went with the ribeye ordered at pittsburgh rare yeah which is very high heat seared um on the outside and rare, rare on, raw on the inside on the inside very good i've made my way on a million before, different yeah. things i'm sure to the back to the point of my friend sent me like hey you were featured on such and such i was like oh, oh that's nice. cool i was like i know that arm <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, I just got to try my watermelon salad. It's super light and refreshing. It really is just as basic as it sounds. It has arugula, which has that good peppery flavor to it, some fresh watermelon, which is sweet and juicy, and then you dip it lightly in those little tiny specks of the um, honey vinaigrette, and that just kind of brings all the flavors together. It's really, really nice very delicate would be the way I would describe it but a really really yummy salad where the ingredients are the stars of the show it's not about a sauce it's not about the way it's cooked it's just fresh chopped yummy vegetable fruits that have great flavor I am really enjoying this ribeye it's like they've calculated each bite you've got the uh, carrot on top you got the bone marrow as you on the bottom it's like you slice a piece you put it together and then I, I enjoy the Pittsburgh Rare because it's got a really hard sear on it, but it's like rare inside. So 
You get a lot of good flavor from the sear and the grill, but you get that tender, just when it's a really good cut of meat you want to eat. I, I like to eat it that way. And uh, paired with this Zinfandel was a great recommendation. Um, just delicious, off, off the charts delicious. Very good. Okay, so this root vegetable gratin is unbelievably good. So we had to ask because we couldn't really pinpoint what the flavors were. It almost has an oniony, but then a potatoey, but then I don't know, the texture, it was very interesting. Turns out it is Yukon potatoes, watermelon radishes and carrots, very thinly sliced and layered, cooked and then deep fried. It is stupendous. I mean, the surprise of the night goes to that little root really potato is. thing. Unbelievable. So I tried my meatballs. I will say they're very, very good. It's a very traditional flavor, which is what you're looking for typically when you go for a meatball. I think that if I were here and ordering again, I'd maybe try something else just because this tastes so familiar. I don't feel like I'm stepping too far out of... Not a new flavor. Yeah, I'm not exploring not new, new flavors new. with it. So if you like a really good traditional homemade meatball on a bed of polenta, the sauce is fantastic, then you're gonna love this. I loved it. We'll have to give the Sambuca the old man test. So Manny got... Has three three uh, beans in it, coffee beans. It's gotta be three beans. It's gotta be an odd number. Yeah, so you got your Sambuca, which you always love. Yeah. And I got a nice cappuccino. Which is perfect. Ah, right, perfect. You. There you go. There they are. Look at them. Three. Two is way out, unless you're on your way to three. Here we go. Oh. That's good. You gotta love it. I, I always know when you've had a really great meal. I've had a really good meal, yes. That's then what I like then to you get. say, I think I need a, an espresso with Sambuca. Yeah. I know Manny's a happy camper. For the past 30, since I met you, <laughs> 30 plus years, you, if you're having a really good time, a really nice evening, you would love to end it with an espresso and a sam dark Sambuca, preferably, however. Dark Sambuca, but apparently it's not the 90s anymore, so as you remind me. <laughs> Nobody has it anymore. Nobody has it. They don't have hands on ice either. Where were we? And the guy was like, yeah, dude, no. Uh, like, like, no. Nobody does that anymore. <laughs> it's I not easy some. to find. I have some. Yeah. From 19 what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Right, so we had a really good time. The dinner was absolutely delicious. Wonderful. We've always heard nothing but good things about Wine Bar George. Yeah, and we've had have had brunch here before, so it was really good. It was very good. Did not disappoint, and uh, dinner was super awesome tonight. Yeah. On par, really great, really good. I really loved it. The service was just top notch. Everything about the whole experience was fantastic. Just a note for if you are an annual pass holder, they only do the discount for brunches or lunch, not brunch dinner, lunch, not dinner, which is fine. I'm just throwing that out there yep. just so you know, but the dinner was fantastic, worth every dime and just a great experience. So if you're looking for something a little bit more like intimate, um, upscale as far as the food style goes, creative, and you really want to try some great wines. Yeah, the cocktails were good too, and they were decently priced actually. They were like... 15 bucks i think so for like a good quality manhattan yeah so that's kind of what you see around anywhere yeah these days for something good yeah it was very very good um the other thing i really liked about it too was that the menu was set up in a way that you really could just get a whole gathering of different nibbles i would love to come sometime and do the cheese board or the cheese and meat board it just felt like way too much food for two people <laughs> Uh, but boy, would I love to do that. I could sit there for hours just nibbling about on that. But, um, and that's a nice thing. Great shareable dishes. I saw um, Bachelorette Party and they were oh. having their meal in the private little like wine cellar room. And they had a whole bunch of different plates and platters out and everyone was nibbling and just having a great time. So that's kind of a different style. Really, really nice way to get to hang out and be social and, and enjoy it. Or for a date night like we did, it was great. So yeah. Wine Bar George, really good. definitely Recommend. a thumbs up. If you like this and you want to check out some of our other dining reviews, please do on our channel and Shannon Nomads. I'm Carrie.
Manny. <laughs> we had a great night. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yep.